Well, from writing scripts in Hollywood to starting his own comic book company, local author jo or Joaquin Allen Heron has seen and done a lot. And he recently released a new comic called Scarlet Knight, Defender of the Block. And he now joins us to talk about his latest body of work and where he gets his inspiration from. First off, Kansas City, born and raised. So tell yeah. us uh, where you grew up, where you went to school at, and kind of how you got to this point. So I grew up off of 58th and Agnes. Mm -hmm. I went to Southeast High School. Uh, conveniently, our mascot was the Scarlet Knight. Oh, yeah? Um, so um, from there, I went down to Missouri State University, just had a... a basically health and wellness promotions degree, came back and just realized I had a love for acting. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, that's when I started to get into acting and writing scripts, things like that, and I moved to L.A. Really? Met, yeah, then I moved. I met my, uh, my mentor, Scott Brown, who was a script writer in L.A., okay. and then it just pretty much got tired of the Hollywood scene and waiting, yeah. and then that's when we came to the Scarlet Night. So did you develop that from then your high school mascot back here in Kansas City, or did you kind of start working on that in L.A. and you kind of brought it back with you? So um, pretty much I think I was at a, a, stand, like a standstill, and I was just thinking, like, what could I do? Um, when I came back from college, my grandparents had passed away. Mm -hmm. So I was just thinking in my head, like, what could I do to keep their memory alive, to make them internal forever. And that's when I came up with the comic book idea, because yeah. I've always been a comic book nerd. Yeah, and you kind of said you said you drew inspiration uh, for the comic book from your grandparents right yes. here, right? Yes, that's my grandmother, uh, Mary, right there. Yeah. How do they fit into the storyline then? So um, I always, um, when I was, first of all, I had to separate myself as being a fan, but I also mm -hmm. wanted to get certain ingredients. And I thought about those, uh, those surrogate parents. You yeah. know, Clark Kent had the Kents. Uh, Superman had the Clint's. You had a Batman who had Alfred. Yeah. Um, you had a Spider-Man who had Aunt May. And we've never seen grandparents. We never uh, showed that strong household where you have the grandmother and the grandfather having to raise mm -hmm. um, the the child, the grandchildren. Um, and I'm a part of that. You know, my grandparents held my grand my mother who was a single parent, and I wanted to make them involved and and get them a part of that. So the comic book uh, company is called 2923 Comics? Yes. And that's from an address you grew up at? Yes, I grew up um, off 2923 East yeah. 58th Street. <laughs> um, I, I actually, if you, look at my, um, if you look at my comic logo, I actually stayed in the attic room. So oh, yeah. I stayed upstairs. So this is where I used to, I guess, dream up all these ideas of uh -huh. wanting to be in Hollywood, wanting to be an actor, wanting to be a writer. Yeah. And I thought it was just a great way to honor my grandparents and where I grew up in the neighborhood. Well, we saw on your Instagram that you got one of your first checks here just this yes. month from a comic book store buying your comic book to sell. Yes. Uh, what's that like, taking the step to actually, now you're making money for it, you're starting to get some success rolling behind you, yes. some, momentum, some momentum, where does that put you at? That was, uh, at first it was a little overwhelming because I was a fan at first. I yeah. was just a fan of comic books and then now you have people who are coming to you wanting to buy the comic book, wanting to buy merchandise and t-shirts and having to kind of separate yourself because I caught myself in the beginning like just giving them away like here yeah. you, you can have them but you know you have people in your household telling you like <laughs> you can't give anything away we have to sell this we have to make money yeah. off this um that was a, a little overwhelming at first but once I got my business um in order and then making sure I'm keeping track of inventory and uh, keeping track of people being paid because right now I have an artist that has to be paid um, just taking over all that. And real quick, what's next for 2923 Comics then? So 2923 Comics, I'm um, working on Meet the Hills Vampire Hunters. <laughs> uh, it's about a family of, black, of vampire hunters that I'm working on right now. It's a graphic novel with Peterson who's my artist. Um, and I mean, that's just going to be great. I'm also, uh, I was just sending script notes to um, my artist last night, we were going over um, the issue two for um, Defender of the Block. Okay. So we're working on that right now. It's a lot of action. It's yeah. going to be more so uh, kind of showing how Phoenix, the Scarlet Knight, uh, just showing how he develops into basically having to come to terms of being a hero now mm -hmm. um, and having to make everything right again. Well, awesome. Well, congratulations on your success so far. We hope you just keep in, uh, skyrocketing. Thank you. And uh, maybe we'll see a Scarlet Knight movie or something down the road. Oh, right? hopefully. That's, uh, the, that's, the, that's the plan. All right. Well, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you.